Um, the problem of environmental protection daily becomes more and more appreciable. Any disturbance to the ecological balance touches the human's health. Logically, it touches the human's heritage because it depends on present generation. This problem is sexual for not even one decade. However, after some environmental accidents, everlasting question B or not to B becomes extremely actual. For the last decades, the biggest ecological collapse of the century was Aral Sea, which now carries pain and environmental problems. <laughs> Nevertheless, uh, in spite of this, economic and social problems were extremely important, and medical issue was the most threatening. In considerable extent, conduces the activity of factories, which throw the waste products out. Undoubtedly, in developing countries as Uzbekistan, this problem cannot be solved fastly. But in developed countries, was operated the mechanism which subsumes science-intensive and secure technologies. One of them is recycling water supply. It's a closed-loop system which allows to use effluent effects over and over again. It is based on filtration, the basis of all the filters which we usually have at home. And with assistance of this mechanism, already a significant amount of water was saved in Europe. And concerning Central Asia, about 90% of Central Asia's problems are connected with water. According to Uzbekistan, this country is the most densely populated in the region. Besides that, Uzbekistan is landlocked. Consequently, in order to go to the ocean, we have to cross two counties over. Nearly 80% of the water which is used in the country is formed on neighbor territory. Therefore, we cannot be responsible in questions of water. On assumption of this, the aim is to make a energy in water saving to increase the productivity as the efficiency of water is extremely low, despite the millennial irrigation history, which was five or six centuries ago. Um, so there are, actually there are any, some indicators which help to define any action concerning water. The most popular is a factoriness factor. And this factor showed that if we take the water from a source, and get it through the channel to consumer, about 50% of delivered water will be lost. Just can you imagine 50% of delivered water which is not ours and it is lost? Can you think about reasons? Reasons include defense installation with bad quality, slits, bad filtration, just this reason seems to be so petty from the first view. However, in fact, they have extremely harmful result itself. Or I can take an instance which, instance which concerns everyone who is sitting here. While brushing this at home, People don't usually close the tap. Even in Israel, in a country with a high efficiency of water usage, people gain the water in a glass and only after that brush their teeth. And I cannot make you to start gaining the water in a glass, but I want to inform you about the harmful effect and harmful result which might happen if you won't stop. So the next but not the least problem is connected with enormous shortage of fertilization. The first depiction of independent Uzbekistan describes the greatest historical monuments, friendly citizens, and unfortunately desert. Since 1991, people have been only deteriorating the position. So, after, after like 28 years, we, people started to forget about attention concerning nature. And in addition, regular pressure of country's renovation conduces a gradual change of population's mind. Particularly, people started to forget about attention to the trees. Tree cutting is one of the most significant problems of Uzbekistan. And people don't even understand that we're in danger. The weather, especially in summer, is extremely dry, hot, dusty. And we have to mention to the fact that Uzbekistan doesn't have forests. Just where is the logic? Uzbekistan doesn't have forests, but we have trees. But we continue to remove all the trees. Just we, the first solution that we need to do is to stop removing all the trees and plant more and more. And permanent tree cutting cannot be recompensed exceptionally by government. 
Hence, the only solution to stop this problem might be solved exceptionally by, by assembling all the people, by supporting each other and interaction. Unfortunately, recently in Tashkent was, cut, was caught a man, woodcutter, who, who was cutting trees down during 10 years. And while estimation, it was defined that more than 2,000 of trees were fell down only by him. To the purpose, 2,000 of trees reimbursed lost oxygen consumed by carbon dioxide of 1,000 of cars. 1,000 of cars. And it is only one example how indifferently and without any respect human behaves. So, we, I have some kinds of solutions which might work if we gather together and start to think about this problem and act. While searching in the internet, I found one strategy which is actively used in Europe for many years. And it is said, in case of illegal cutting of one tree, five more will be planted. And with help of this strategy, we can reimburse all the cut trees which were cut like, since 1991. But of course, the first and foremost is to start from your comfort zone. For the plethora of people, it is home. So does it appropriate your position or your readiness to change the world? Make an order, not mainly was sort of the saying. Start from yourself. Recently, when I was talking about all these problems to my tutor, he asked me a question. Why should I? Why should I reform the country? Or why should I reform the world? Why should I do, be better? Why should I do good things? On that moment, I was just so overwhelmed and I didn't know how to answer. However, after a period of thinking, I came to his class and asked a counter question. Who, if not you? Who, if not me? Who will be the best version of yourself? Who will change the world? Who will be better? And the initial thing which inspired me to come here and had this stretch is to make you to be the best version of yourself. Just be the best version of yourself every day and every moment. Thank you. Thank you.